share. So, ano yung oh. preferred shares? Preferred shares? Ano rin siya? Ano ba? Preferred or preferred? Hindi ko alam. Okay. Hello everyone! <laughs> Hello, hi! And uh, welcome sa ating uh, new episode. Yes! Okay. New And episode every week. Hopefully. Ito <laughs> 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 pagsilipag. Hindi, <laughs> pag hindi busy. Pag hindi busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, minsan may mga out of town oh. engagement tayo. Oo! Oh. Medyo nabibisi, so hindi tayo nakapag-upload. Alam mo naman, hindi man. Hindi man. Hindi man daw. But, Guys, if you uh, if you want us to go to your company to give yes. a training or a workshop or oh. a seminar about personal finance, mm-hmm. pwede nyo kami contact and uh, yes. we can arrange a corporate training for them. Okay? So yes. that's also one of the services that WealthRT provides. Magaling ng plugin mo, ha? Oo, oh, <laughs> syempre. Sayang, eh. nandito na rin tayo. Eh. Okay? Oh, nga. So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay... Preferred shares versus... Common, common shares. Oh, common, common shares. Stock. Yeah, common shares, common stock. Uh, so, uh, to my understanding, sa hmm. stock market, pag bumili ka sa broker, usually, common shares yung nabibili mo, mm-hmm. di ba? Yun yung mga sinasabi yung pag umatid kayo ng mga seminar na, oh, you buy Jollibee, you buy Ayala, uh, you buy BDO, yun yung mga common shares. Mga common shares. So, ano yung Uh-oh. preferred shares? Preferred shares? Ano rin siya? Ano ba? Preferred or preferred? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko alam. <laughs> Oh guys, comment nyo kung ano ba yung tamang oh, pronunciation. Preferred no? preferred or preferred? Ako kasi preferred shares eh. Anyway, uh, oh, ikaw preferred. Oo, oh, preferred. Okay, so, pre- uh, so gamitin natin yung preferred. Siguro pag sa shal, preferred. Oo nga, no cash. Oh, anyway, so let's use yung pre- preferred. Oh, preferred okay, shares. Kasi yun yung, ano. Oh, baka preferred nga. Kasi, I, kasi, I prefer. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, kasi uh, I prefer. Anong, pre- anong preference mo? <laughs> <laughs> so preferred kasi anong preference uh, mo? Kasi kasi uh, preferred. Sige. So, oh. ano ba yung preferred shares? Well, it's also ano, also uh, type of stock, ganyan. Kasi dalawa yan eh, may common sa may preferred. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yung mga usual com- ano uh, stocks na nabibili mo. Yung preferred shares would be uh nagche-change din siya in value. Okay, so parang stock uh, stock owner uh, part owner ka rin ng company. Kaya lang ang difference niya, main difference sa common stock is that meron siyang fix na binibigay na ano sa iyo na dividend. Div- yeah, ida dividend. Oo, uh, may fix na binibigay sa iyo. At uh, usually, well, generally speaking, depende sa company no, yung kanilang rate. Like for example, some companies give around 6 to 7% na dividend. That's on the high end already. Uh-oh. Yung mga iba would be giving around mga around 4 to 5%. Mm. Yan, per Example year. ng company na may preferred shares. Uh, Ayala Corp. Okay. Yeah, mga nasa 4 5%. So, six ang, minsan. ang Ayala Corporation, meron silang common shares which you can easily buy through your stock Uh-oh. broker. Pero, yung Ayala Saka, Corp... Saka, common shares, you get dividend kung nag-declare Oo. ng dividendo. Pero, yung Ayala Corp na preferred shares, can you also, meron. how can you buy that? At through it's, brokers it, din. It's also available mm. sa sa stock broker niya. Oh, kung may available. Ah, so hindi siya laging available. Ah, uh, yeah. And actually, ganun din naman common stock. Ang common stock eh. Makakabili ka lang kung may available. Willing magbenta. Kung may willing magbenta. Pero since the market is very big and very liquid, then madalas is makakabili ka talaga kasi there will always be buyers and sellers. Yung preferred kasi, super kinda medyo mas ma- konti siya o oh, mas limited so mm. of course kung wala masyado nagbenta wala kang mabibili so what we're saying is that yung volume ng mga taong nagbabuy and sell ng common shares mas marami mas madami oh, so oh. ibig sabihin mas madali mag buy and mag sell ng mga common, common shares, shares yeah. ngayon yung preferred shares it's also available sa through your broker mm-hmm. sa stock market mm-hmm. pero much less yung volume mm-hmm. kasi konti lang yung gustong magbitaw oh, kasi ng preferred shares. Dyan, they just buy it for ano? They just buy it for the, for, uh, the cash flow and then oh. the dividend. Kasi again, no, yung common shares is kung mag-declare ng dividend, saka ka lang magkakaroon ng dividend. Pero sa preferred shares, meron schedule ng, ng dividend. So, oh, mas regular. So, oh, oh. so hindi pwedeng ng... i-trade ang mga preferred shares. Well, oh. pwede rin. Pwede rin. Oh, oh. Pero, Pero parang walang volatility masyado yan. Wala masyado. Kung halimbawa, no, usual ng stock market mo, stock price would be around, kunwari, mga 10-12%. Oh, oh. Uh, historically, preferreds mo, mga around 6% 
thereabouts lang. Uh, yung ano niya, yung common na uh, price appreciation. So, mas mababa siya. And in fact, maraming institutions bumibili ng preferred shares like schools, foundations, mm-hmm. which is good for them kasi, you know, kailangan nila ng sigurado na regular cash flow. Uh, so, that means na the reason why you should buy preferred shares oh, is because application. Uh, is because you want regular, regular cash flow. Yung so, sigurado ka. Na, so, it's a fixed income source actually technically speaking uh, hindi siya fixed income ah, okay. like bonds technically speaking ah, ah, kasi hindi mo of, alam kung magkano yung makukuha mo in terms of asset class ah. okay technically speaking but in terms of the nature and then the treatment uh, parang tinitingnan siya and even institutional investors parang they treat it as an income source as a fixed income uh-huh. yung pagtrato nila fixed income kasi binibigyan ka ng regular kasi cash kasi sigurado flow. yung oh, oh. pagbigay nung saka yung price dividends. volatility hindi as much ah okay so, so when do you go for prefer so ito for, long, for term, ito, long, long term ito long term mm, yeah. hindi ka tulad ng stocks na pwede kang short term Trade. kasi you're trading oh, it oh, yeah. but of course you can also buy mga common shares for long term mm-hmm. but oh. kung talagang ang habol mo na ngayon ay yung regular cash flow oh, oh, na sigurado ka na meron kang pwede cash yung flow. preferred shares yes. oh, oh. Oh. saan natin pwedeng i-apply ang preferred shares well sino pwedeng bumili ako meron ah, saan mga retiree yun nga oh, actually hindi yung isipin ko eh mga retirees mga na retiree. pambili ng mga maintenance medicine <laughs> <laughs> Diba? Kasi at least yun siguro, parang pension yung dating nun. Oo, oh, yeah. Oh. Oo. Tapos no, ngayon, no. Kasi, may... pa, kasi pag, pag common stock, hindi nag-declare yung dividend ako, wala akong pabili ng lipid. Oo, oh, <laughs> diba? Kasi <laughs> yung common <laughs> shares, hindi, depende na sa board kung kailan mamimigay ng dividends. Oh, hindi, hindi siya regular, okay. no? Unlike yung preferred shares, hmm. meron talagang schedule. Regular, oh. Oh, so, I think, uh, yun yung primary Ay, reason mo bakit ka bibili ng preferred shares, hmm. no? And of course, uh, since meron pa rin siyang price appreciation, it's a good backup in case sa kailangan mo ng mm, pera bigla, then you can mo. just sell yeah. your preferred shares. Oh, oh ayan. Uh, sometimes, yung mga stockbroker, nag-offer sila ng, hmm? ng parang swap, yung common hmm. shares mo. Uh, parang oh, trade mo, mo for the preferred shares. Do you Why think that's a, that's a good idea? Well, depende. Kasi for example, depende kunwari, sa goal, sa goal mo, mo. For example, oh, in earmark ko yung stock na to pang education fund ng oh. anak ko. So, of course, kapag trinade ko siya sa preferred shares, tapos mas mababa ang price appreciation. So, hindi siya aakit as much. Oh, oh. So, the question is, would that preferred share give me the money that I need para dun sa kailangan kong tuition oh, fee in the future? If not, then, you know, hindi ko siya, ano, hindi ko siya isa-swap. Kasi if the common share would uh, price fast enough to give me my money needed. For example, I need 2 million in 18 years' time, then mag ako sa common stock. Mm-hmm. Again, no, guys, kaya nga tinatawag siya na investment vehicle. Mutual fund, UITF, stocks, bonds, bonds whatever, okay. The reason the why they're called investment vehicle, kasi they should be able to... Uh, bring get you. to bring you where you want to be. Uh, yeah. So, for example, meron akong investment sa stocks, common kung maga, shares. Kung maga, kung nare, pupunta ang baklaran, di ba? Magpepende ka ba ako mula para niya? Okay, pupunta ang baklaran. Eh, kung may hinahabol akong oras. Uh, o, di magagrab ako. Or mag, uh, sa sasakyan na oh. mag-jeep or oh. magka-taxi. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, ganun lang yan. Uh, so, yun nga. For yes. example, uh, ang financial goal ko is to uh, save and invest para sa college location ng anak ko mm-hmm. na worth 2 million mm-hmm. tapos meron akong common shares mm-hmm. and umabot na sa 2 million yung oh pwede so ibig sabihin nun I don't need the price appreciation as much yes pero matagal pa yung magka-college yung anak ko oh, kung so, narin nakuha mo siya in 10 years time so parang ang pangit naman kung kukunin ko na siya kagad tapos ilalagay ko lang sa time deposit diba oh, oh. so I might pwede. as well uh, one option is to get the sell the common shares and mm. probably buy a preferred share mm-hmm. so may cash flow ka pa may cash flow ka na tapos oh. the price will still appreciate a little mm-hmm. uh, and still yung yung value nung Intact. nung nung uh, college education and then, fund hindi siya masyadong as volatile uh, it will not be as volatile yes. well, pero kasi yun nga since matagal pa it still makes sense to oh. invest na long term you can weather it pa eh oo di ba pwede pa. pa so ngayon uh, as we always say, wala talagang one hard rule for investing. It all depends on your um, 
financial goal, yung risk tolerance. And then your your budget also. Your, uh, yung financial capacity nila. Kasi for example, eh, ang budget mo lang is, uh, kunwari, 5,000 a month. Okay? Tapos malaki yung hinahabol mo na ano na, na amount. So, kumbaga, kung malaki hinahabol... Hindi ka pwede mag-prefer shares kasi... <laughs> hindi, kasi maliit lang yung budget oh. mo. Eh. So, kung maliit ang budget mo, then dapat yung paglagakan mo. Ah, lalo yung oh. paglagakan. Yung dapat na paglagakan mo is medyo mas mataas medyo, ang return. Ano, medyo high kasi, return. Kasi, oh, malaki yung hinahabol mo. Oh. Vis-a-vis, kung for example, malaki yung budget mo per month na pwedeng invest, tapos yung hinahabol mo, the same amount. So, pwede kang medyo mas less risk oh. kasi malaki yung pinapod. You can pinapod afford mo. like 100,000 yes. pesos a month. Oh. Tapos, mga 10 years pa yung financial goal mo. Mm-hmm. Actually, pwede nga ano lang yun eh. Mga bonds na lang yun. <laughs> <laughs> May bad reaction. <laughs> Oo. No, so, pwede yung bonds na lang i-invest yun, di ba? But there, there's a computation for that one. And we can do it for you as part of our uh, professional services. Yes, yung ating yeah. pagiging registered financial yeah. planner. So, we can create their financial plan. Right? Okay. So, I don't know guys kung narinig niyo yung kulog. <laughs> <laughs> so, mukhang uulan na Oh, yeah. we so we have to go so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and then share it to your friends and kung hindi pa kayo nagsasubscribe subscribe na kayo <laughs> please subscribe so, please subscribe. so uh, thank you for watching thank you see you again next week bye bye